Hey data enthusiasts, in this video we are going to develop a question answering model in Python using the transformer architecture. Have you heard of ChatGPT? Well, it is safe to assume that because you are watching this video you have even used ChatGPT for some of your tasks. Well, ChatGPT is built on the transformer architecture and in this video we are going to use the transformer architecture to build our very own question answering model. We are going to use a pre-trained model for the purpose and then build a pipeline. So for that we need to install certain libraries, certain packages. Here we need two primary installations, the PyTorch and Transformers from Hugging Face. You can also use TensorFlow 2 for the purposes and it works just the same. Here I do not want to make a permanent installation in my environment. Therefore I am using this exclamation before this pip installation. However you are free to make the installation in your environment as well. If you do not specify this exclamation, this will install it directly on your environment. This exclamation is used to denote that all the installations made here are only for this particular session. So let me go ahead and install this. Now the two libraries are installed. Next we need to import these libraries. We are importing here currently we don't need pandas. We shall import torch. And we are going to import this auto model for question answering, auto tokenizer and pipeline. So we are going to see two methods of building the question answering model using the transformer architecture. Let me import these libraries quickly. The next thing we need is to specify a set of question and context pairs. These question and context pairs are passed to your transformer model which gives the relevant answer. Now here I have two pairs of question and context. The first is why is conversion important based on this context. The second question is how many programming languages does Bloom support. Remember this is an extractive question answering model which means based on the context provided the model shall find the relevant answer. Right? So let me run this. Now the important step that comes here is we are going to see a step by step approach as to how to build the end to end pipeline. So the very important step here is selecting the right model for your purposes. Since we are using a pre trained model, let us head over to the hugging face home page and select see the list of models. This is the hugging face page and here click on the models tab. Now under models you see a list of actions or applications. These are the multimodal applications, feature extraction, text to image image to text, visual question answering, then computer vision based applications. We are currently working with text based applications which are the which comes under NLP and we shall select this question answering. As we select this question answering a list of pre-trained models here we have currently 5699 pre-trained models for the purposes each of these models have been trained on a separate data set and have certain differences in terms of the configuration of the architecture. Say the number of parameters, the number of hidden states, the number of encoder layers, etc, etc. You also see that first we have the deep set Roberta base square 2. The other model we have the Lama 2 model which is trained on the Chinese data. Similarly you have other models based on the Spanish data set. So depending on the use case you can go ahead and pick any pre-trained model of the choice. Remember these models are uh, like nearly 500 MBs right so do not go ahead and just download them use them cautiously and judiciously in order to make best use of your resources. Once you click on this you will find the description about how this model was fine tuned on what were the some of the parameters and hyperparameters used for the training and then uh, whether how do we want to use this model you also have a code base as to how to implement this model in your python notebook and so on and so forth. So all this information are provided here. Any any you pick up you will find the relevant information there. So what we need to do here is we need to pick the name of this pre-trained model. This will automatically get the model from the hugging face hub. Now we create our create that means initialize our model and tokenizer. Every model has a corresponding tokenizer in transformer. You cannot use a model which is based on deep set with a tokenizer that is based on another say Lama 2. It has to be a corresponding tokenizer. The reason being tokenizers are used to denote 
that corresponding to the text provided how this text should be converted into the token IDs that are further passed to the model because models deal with numbers only right so you pass the text the tokenizer will convert the text to the corresponding token IDs and that token ID are passed to the model so first here we call the tokenizer function and we pass the corresponding question and the context and return the output as tensors right and the output is generated as model and we pass the input here let me run this first okay I haven't run this okay our model is loaded our tokenizer is loaded since I already ran this notebook earlier so it did not download the model again it was already downloaded in the environment and we are able to use it next I will run the input and the output let me show you the corresponding output right see the output that you get is something like this you get the start logits you get the end logits the corresponding loss hidden states attentions etc currently since we are only interested in getting the answer we haven't specified this hidden state as true these attentions is true or loss because loss is used when you are training it now these start logits denote the starting token id for your answer and the end logit denotes the corresponding end token id right now based on this start logit and end logit we are going to select the starting index and the ending index for our answer these starting and ending index are passed to the input ids or the token ids that are already converted from based on the text so we just filter out the corresponding region from the context and then decode it tokenizer.decode is used to convert these token ids back to the original text form and we get our corresponding answer right so our question was why is conversion important and based on the context that we had the option to convert models between farm and transformers gives freedom to the user right so we get the right answer from our context similarly for another question how many programming languages does bloom support the answer is 13 and we see from the context that bloom has 176 billion parameters can generate text in 46 natural languages and 13 programming languages right so th this is the power of transformer based models the question answering model for transformers and very easily you can build and deploy these models now another advantage of initializing these models yourself models and tokenizers ourselves is that we can even get the top ranked answers like instead of getting the top rank one answer we can get the top three answers right because you see we have all the possible logits for the start logits and the end logits we have all the possible combinations here so we can instead of picking the arg max first you can get the top two three answers correspondingly right now another method that we are going to see and which is a more simple and straightforward method of deploying or building applications using transformers is using the pipeline. This is similar to the scikit-learn pi pipeline that we already know. right? So let us head over to the documentation and quickly show you how this works. right? So under the pipelines you need to specify the task which task do you want to solve. So there are multiple tasks that are already listed within the pipeline and you are free to choose any of the corresponding tasks depending on the application. The next thing you need to specify the model name and the tokenizer name as we are doing here. The model name and the tokenizer name. There is one limitation with these pipelines is currently not all pre-trained models have been designed to suit the pipeline architecture. Right? They, there, there is a certain limitation in terms of which models, which pre-trained models can currently be used by the pipeline. So make sure of that. That is one of the major limitations there. Current, our current model DeepSet Roberta Squad 2 is compatible with the pipeline and we are able to use it easily. The next is we generate the output correspondingly and we get the score, start and end logits and the corresponding answer. Similarly, for the other question, we get our desired answer as 13. So now you understand how to build a question answering model using the transformers of Hugging Face. It is very easy and very simple to use. If you want me to create a separate video on why transformers are more powerful over its other architectures such as the RNN based LSTMs, GRUs, by LSTMs, I've already written an article on it. I'll attach it in the description. Let me know if you want a separate video on it. Comment interested below. See you in the next lecture. Have a smooth learning experience. Bye-bye. Jain, if you like the content, make sure to give it a thumbs up.